Welcome to the GE MDS video training series. This video will demonstrate an application that utilizes the Orbit cellular interface feature to provide a customer with data from a remote location. I'll briefly review the scenario with diagrams and then dive right in to how this gets set up. At the end, I'll demonstrate it working as intended. So, as mentioned, a common use case for the Orbit device is to provide network access to a normally isolated area. Often, utilities have distribution substations in remote locations of their franchise territory. Since cellular coverage is usually available at these locations, the Orbit MCR 4G can communicate with the video surveillance devices via Ethernet and the local cellular tower. The Orbit MCR 4G ultimately provides the data back to the substation control center over the cellular network. The Orbit can also protect your data with extensive security protocols by the use of an IPsec VPN connection. With this feature configured, all data will be authenticated and encrypted between the remote private network and the substation control center. This is accomplished by using the IPsec protocols of Encapsulating Security Payload or Authentication Header. Further security can be applied with the use of the RADIUS standards particularly when Wi-Fi clients or Orbit MCR 900 units are included in the setup. This is known as device authentication. Before being allowed into a highly secured network, the client will have to prove its identity using certificates which are applied by the system administrators. Here is the Orbit MCR 4G configuration checklist. These steps will be necessary to configure the system to allow live video streaming over the 4G cellular network to monitor your environments. The first step to perform will be on the Orbit 4G unit that is directly connected to your monitoring equipment and requires setup of the cellular interface APN. It is assumed you've already contacted your service provider and obtained provisioned 4G SIM and data plans. It's recommended to have an unlimited data plan as this use case will exceed the limits for most data plans that the provider offers. To configure the cell's APN, log in and enter configuration mode. Then issue the following command to configure the APN. You can issue a show command afterwards to bring up the interface's configuration to verify the settings are correct. Commit the configuration when ready. The next step is to verify that the cellular interface is connected to your service provider's network. Now that your APN is configured, the interface will begin to make a connection with the cellular network. To verify connection, issue the following command in operational mode. You can view the administrative status, service status, packet statistics, and many other parameters with this command. Then issue the IPv4 command to view the IP address of your cell interface. In my case, it is 172.18.175.131. This IP address will be used to connect to your monitoring equipment. Step 3 is to configure the port forwarding rule, which allows data to flow from the Ethernet device to the control center. I recommend using the Access Point web interface for this step as the port forwarding wizard is very intuitive and quick to configure. At the home screen, click on Wizards and then Port Forwarding. Click on Next and then click Add to create a new rule set. Name your rule set without spaces and click OK. Add a new rule. The incoming destination IP address will be the cellular interface. The incoming port may be configured to a port that best matches your system. Then configure the forwarding address and forward to port, which corresponds to the Ethernet device's IP address and listening port that is connected to the Orbit MCR 4G. If you require additional information on port forwarding, there is a dedicated training video that covers this feature in more detail. Click Next and select the rule set just created for the cell interface. Click Next and click Submit at the bottom of the summary page to apply all changes. Repeat steps 1 through 3 for each Orbit MCR 4G in your system. Each will have a unique cellular IP address which is used to connect to your end device. 
The final step is to open the surveillance application and make a connection with the Orbit cellular IP. In my case, I am using a network camera set up in my office. I will be connecting to my cellular IP address using port 8080. This request will be port forwarded to my camera device that is configured to the destination NAT parameters I configured during my port forwarding wizard setup. As you can see, this video is being streamed over my 172.18.175.131 cellular interface connection and provides live video from a remote location. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.